Hello everyone, I'm Wade. Today we are here with teacher Jane. And to get us started, could you tell us what do you teach at Fun Day? Oh, I teach many classes. You can find me in Sense of Language, English Corner, Life Conversation, Hannah Room classes, and so on. Oh, so many, many classes. Yeah, that's right. How long have you been teaching? I have been teaching for over 10 years. I started teaching in university. At first, I started tutoring, mm -hmm. and then I have small-sized classes. And then after I graduated, I started to teach full-time. Okay. Until now, it has been 10 years or 10 years. so. Right? And how long have you been with Finding? I've been here about two years, for two about years. two years. I heard that there's actually a new class that's come up. What is that class called? Ask Away. Yeah, so I'm asking about the new class. What, what is that class called? Oh, that class is called Ask Away. <laughs> oh, Ask Away. Gotcha. <laughs> Interesting. How did you guys come up with that name? Well, that's because that class is for students to ask questions. Makes sense. So that's a cute nickname, right? Yes. Could you tell us more about the class? Uh, yeah, and this is actually a bonus class. As long as you take a regular class, whatever class you take prior to this class, mm -hmm. then you can take Ask Away class for free. And in this class, you get to bring your learning questions to this classroom and ask different teachers. We have a lot of senior teachers and lead teachers will be there to help you answer your questions and your learning difficulties. So this class is less of um, a structured class where a teacher has a plan for you. It's more from the student's perspective asking questions. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Oh, that's very good because actually I recall when I was younger and I trust many students had the same issue is that when we were in a class and teacher would always tell us to participate and ask questions, it's not as easy to do that, you know, when you're in just a normal class. I remember even if I had questions, I felt sometimes shy to raise my hand to ask a question. So I think this is a great space that you create for them, for them to come with questions and feel comfortable to ask these questions. Yeah, I totally agree with you. We encourage students to learn actively. That's why we have this class that we also want to let students know that they are welcome to come to us with their questions and we're here and happy to help. That's very really good. So I hear, were you the one that came up with this idea of the class? Well, to be honest, it was a joint effort. Okay. So my co-worker, Teacher CJ, oh, yes. the previous Teacher in CJ. interview before. Have a interview with Teacher CJ. <laughs> yes, we came up with this idea during our break. We were talking about that we have met a couple of students that have some learning difficulties and sometimes they seem to feel embarrassed or shy to mm -hmm. ask those questions. Mm -hmm. So that's how you guys came about? Yeah, we want to have some time to bond with students and also to help them solve those problems. Okay, so what are some of those problems that students face? In general, I would divide those questions or problems into two groups. Okay. So for new students, usually the common difficulties are that they are new to Fun Day yes. and they find it very difficult to join a class that's suitable for them. Yeah, it makes sense. Because yeah. when you start off, you probably don't know what the level at, and even you're not sure what proper course you should take and what direction. So I'm sure this helps. Yeah, that's right. So we also help them to understand what to expect in classrooms and what kind of approach that teacher usually take. Or basically, when you go to Ask Away classes, you will be able to learn a little bit more about that teacher's teaching style. Yes, that's huge too. And that's even part of the reason why we do these sort of interviews because we want the students to get a sense of what the teachers are like. And I think it's very helpful for students to first get a sense of maybe I feel more comfortable with this teacher or this teacher's teaching style. And so that's actually really good to have that. Yeah, that's right. And we also love to know a little bit more about our students as well. And for the second group, that will be for older students. Okay. The students have been with us for a while. Okay. They usually make good progress, but mm -hmm. somehow they kind of feel that they are stuck in the middle. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to have more guidance to know how they can make more progress or if they need a push to take more advanced classes. 
Yeah, definitely for each of us, I know that when you start learning in the beginning, once you kind of get it going, you know, you get on a roll. But there are times for sure that it becomes more stagnant. So I think that's even it's actually a good point to stay motivated or to be reignited. It's good to have teacher's guidance to push you in the right direction. Yeah. So yeah, this space provides that environment for these students to have a better guidance. Yes, okay, that's correct. Very good. And it's for free? Yeah, wow. totally a bonus, right? <laughs> Definitely a huge bonus. You mentioned that you've been teaching for nearly 10 years, right? Yes. How do you stay motivated with teaching students? Well, personally, I like to be rewarded. And okay. I think teaching is very rewarding. Yes. I yeah. feel very rewarded when students give me some positive feedback. And I love to hear what they have done recently in life in order to improve their English abilities overall. Yes. yes. I know teaching can be hard because I'm sure you have good students and maybe not so good students. <laughs> but I think it's always so rewarding for sure when students tell you their progress or they're excited about what they've learned. And so, yeah, that's a very good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So how do you help students stay motivated? I think students would like to have more encouragement and also I want to create a safe space for them to ask their questions. Usually in the beginning of my classes I ask how they do and if it's a regular student I also ask them something that they told me before. Okay. Yes, sometimes I've asked them before the class, do you have any questions for me about your after class practices? So they know that they can feel safe and secure to ask me questions. Mm -hmm. So that kind of demonstrates the vibe for the yeah. classroom a little bit as well. Yeah, for sure. Setting a good tone. So it's like an open environment where students can ask you questions. Yes. And I think from what it sounds like, you're also building a relationship with them, yeah, right? Keeping right. in touch with what they're doing and conversation. That's actually very helpful because I think a key thing about learning is that you have to kind of have you know, the right connection. Otherwise, if you don't feel the need to use it, then honestly, it's just about memorization. And we yeah. see that doesn't really work for yeah. the education system. Mm -hmm. So it's important to have that relationship and let them feel like, hey, I can use this language. Yes. Maybe when they're younger, it's not so evident around them now, mm -hmm. but we know the benefit of what it provides us, especially in a globalized world. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your time, Teacher Jane. And please do stay tuned to get to know more about teachers here at Fun Day. I am Wade. I'm Jane. And I will see you next time. I will see you in my next class. Bye-bye.